Hey guys, welcome to Break It Yourself. Today, we're gonna be comparing the Brio X19 versus the X24. Now I obviously can't make up your mind for you. I'm gonna to try to show you some of the pros and cons of each. Full disclosure, I have had the X19 for over a year at this point and I've only had the X24 for a few weeks. So keep that in mind as we compare both of these smokeless fire pits. Now quickly, we're gonna go over the specs of the X19 and the X24. They're both 14 and three quarter inch tall, so almost 15 inches, and the legs on all models are stainless steel. You can buy each of them in core 10, which is actually what I have in both of them, or stainless steel. Additionally, you can get them with or without the sear plate. My X19 has the sear plate, my X24 does not, so I'll be able to show you that as well. The weight of the X19 without the sear plate, 47 pounds. The weight of the X24 without the sear plate, 62 pounds. The weight of the X19 with the sear plate, 54 pounds, so you're increasing by seven pounds there. And then the weight of the X24 with the sear plate, you're at 74 pounds, so you're increasing by 12 pounds there. The X19 diameters without the sear plate is gonna be 18 and a half inches on the inside and then 22.13 inches on the outside. Okay, so when you add the sear plate, the outside diameter does not change at all. And the inside diameter of the bowl also doesn't change, but the opening diameter is gonna change. So you're at 22.13 inches on the outside, and then you're coming in when you add the sear plate, four and a quarter inch on each side from that. So eight and a half inches is what you're taking off of there. And they recommend for the X19 that you're gonna use wood splits between 14 and 16 inches long. That's actually, I think, kind of on the larger side. I was more in like the one foot range, 12 inches, I think was pretty much what I go with. Now on the X24, the outside diameter is 27 and a half inches, and that is on both models with and without the sear plate. And then the inside diameter of the bowl is 23 and a half inches. The width of the sear plate on the X24 is also five inches. So you get a little more searing space, three quarters of an inch on the X24. And they recommend 16 to 18 inch logs. You can pretty much use standard size logs in the X24. I think on the X19, I use this little electric DeWalt chainsaw, which I think is awesome. Um, I buy my wood because it's cheaper to buy 24 inch logs from the supplier that I have. And then I just cut them in half or cut them to 16 or 18 inches with this little electric chainsaw. I'll link it in the description below. I think it's great. I can cut a bunch of wood in like five minutes for a full evening of using the fire pits. One thing to consider here is that the X24 is just because of the size and you're using bigger logs, it's gonna consume a lot more wood. I think that kind of goes without saying, that might be super obvious, but I did wanna point that out. In general, these smokeless fire pits really doesn't matter on the brand. They have a ton of airflow, a lot of oxygen coming in, and they just churn through a lot of wood. So that's something to consider. The X24, you're gonna be using bigger logs and it you're gonna go through more wood. Now, this is something that I find pretty interesting is that I thought originally when I got the X19 with the sear plate, I thought absolutely every model, like I think you have to go with the sear plate. I think that is the way to go. Now that I have the X24 without the sear plate, I'm not so sure actually. Depends on if you plan on doing a lot of searing or of course, if you wanna have that option as well. But aesthetically, I think I like it without the sear plate. It looks way larger and I don't have a good way to quantify this, but I feel like the sear plate actually chokes off some of the heat from coming out. Another critique of the smokeless fire pit is that you're gonna lose a vast majority of your heat upwards. Doesn't matter what brand you go with, that's just the way that they work. I feel like with the sear plate on, 
that's even less heat that you're gonna get radiated out. I could be wrong. That's just my impression that I'm getting from these two. And like I said, I don't have a good way of quantifying that, but in the testing that I have done, I think that without the sear plate that I'm feeling a little bit more heat a little bit further away. Also could just be that the X24 being larger, I have a bigger fire in there, so maybe it's hotter. I did use an infrared gun to kind of check the temperatures around. They seem very similar between the X19 and the X24, which I, I think would be expected. Another thing that I will warn you about is it doesn't matter on the X19 or the X24, the bottoms of both of them are gonna get very hot, especially if you don't have any ash in there. So if it's your first burn or if you've just cleaned it out, you need to keep that in mind that the bottoms get super hot, so it's radiating heat downward, which is why Brio does not recommend that you put them on a deck. And I would also be careful about even putting them on a, on a concrete patio because I have seen pictures of people damaging their concrete patios. If you're getting it really hot, you're out there for hours on end, you can damage the concrete. So I think they recommend things like putting it on stone or gravel or things like that. And obviously it's gonna kill whatever grass you put it on as well. They also, there's another company called Amistad Grills. I'll link this below. They make stands um, for the fire pits for Brio. I think they also make them for solo stove as well. So I picked one up as a test and it works pretty well to add a layer of steel underneath the fire pit to kind of protect whatever's below it. Now Brio also, has their outpost grill. So they make an outpost grill for the X19 and one for the X24. I happen to have both of them. And I actually think even if you go with the X19 that I would go with the larger outpost grill. And really the reason why is because you can move food off of the heat. So you could move it over the sear plate or just off of the fire pit, depending on how you have it or how you have it set up. It just gives you a lot more cooking area and things to do. Um, I really think that I like that more than having the smaller X19 and maybe just pivoting it out of the way. So that's something to consider. And of course, I'll show both of those to you having them set up. But I, I do like the bigger outpost, regardless of which fire pit you go with. Now, something that a lot of people talk about is how many people can you fit around a fire pit? I don't really think of it that way. It's like, who cares? Even if the fire pit was tiny, you can still fit people around it, right? They don't give off a ton of radiant heat. And I don't think it really matters for the amount of people. It's like, how close do you wanna be? Yeah, sure, if everyone wants to be really close to it, then yes, you could fit a little bit more people around the X24. I really don't look at it that way. I think it's more of visually, what am I going for? And does it fit the space that you're gonna put it in? That's kind of how I'm thinking about it, not how many people you can put around it. Because to me, I can put the same amount of people around an X19 as I can the X24, honestly. Doesn't really make a difference to me whatsoever. To me, it's like what actually fits the space that you're putting it into. And I actually really like the X24, specifically without the sear plate. That's just me. Um, it, it fits on our deck a lot more and it's just something that I prefer after being able to compare the two. But if you have a more intimate space, one that's smaller, then maybe the X19 makes sense for you or just price wise. I mean, these things are not cheap. So you're looking at the X19, you're gonna start out on the X19 at $349 at the time of filming. So it's gonna cost more if you want stainless steel and it's gonna cost more if you add the sear plate as well. So it starts at 349, the X24 starts at 579. So you've got a $230 difference between the two there. If you're adding on stainless for the X19, you're adding $100. If you're adding on stainless to the X24, you're adding $170. If you're adding the sear plate to the X19, you're looking at an additional $80. If you're adding the sear plate to the X24, you're looking at an additional $120. So these things can just, the prices can just stack up significantly. Now I will say that I think that the X24 fits my space better. I like not having the sear plate on there, but that's because I have a lot of other grills and things that I can sear on. So I really like the outpost grill and I use that, especially sear on it directly over the fire, but the sear plate 
I don't use as much. I've only used it a few times on the X19 and I find myself going towards other grills. If you don't have that ability to get a screaming hot sear on anything else, then absolutely. I think it makes total sense to just throw it on to your fire pit. It's an awesome, awesome thing to be able to sear at such high temperatures. I also think on the X24, it's a little more convenient for buying wood and actually burning wood because you won't have to cut it down. Like I said, I, I have to cut it down for both of them, but if you're just sourcing wood and you're getting like 16 inch logs, 18 inch logs, something like that, um, the 16 will fit in the X19. It's gonna be tight. Um, it's real easy to get all that stuff into the X24. So that's something else to consider just depending on if you're willing to cut down your wood, then it makes no difference. But if you're sourcing wood from somebody and you don't wanna have to deal with it, then think about that as well. Now, one thing that's gonna be true for both of these fire pits is they are gonna just hold up incredibly well. I mentioned the weights earlier, they're very heavy duty. They are built to last. I did a review of my X19, which you can check out up here, a year later kind of showing how well it held up being left outside for a year. So go ahead and check that out. Both of these, whether you go with the X19, the X24, or the 30, I really don't think you can go wrong. They're going to hold up incredibly well. I think you're looking for what's gonna fit your space and what kind of wood can you source and how much wood do you actually want to go through? Because like I said, they eat through a good bit of wood. Thank you so much for watching Break It Yourself. I hope this video was informative and helps you make a decision between the X19 or the X24. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and we will see you next time.